Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair, Excellencies, Honorable Delegates, representing Ethica's Foundation, we appreciate the opportunity to once again intervene in a plenary, and I would like to make the following remarks on Group 11 covering mutual legal assistance. First of all, let me start by saying that we are pleased that many of the controversial provisions proposed in the CND's chapter on international cooperation were not included in the zero draft. However, the chapter on mutual legal assistance as currently stands still shows significant gaps and leaves room for improvement in order to ensure a smooth and secure functioning of the proposed convention. On Article 40, I would like to make the following comments. We urge delegations to explicitly expand the grounds for refusal and mutual legal assistance on the basis of human rights. Further, we strongly recommend not to expand surveillance powers under this convention to serious crimes and offenses covered by the very vague provision of Article 17. We generally find it problematic to discuss cooperation mechanisms when not even the scope and the offenses covered by the future convention are clearly defined and agreed upon. We therefore urge to delete such broad provisions and instead stick to core cyber-dependent crimes only, as there seems to be some potential for agreement. If the scope were maintained broader, the future convention should, at the very least, be confined to serious crimes as defined in Article 2 of the, of the UNTOG and should explicitly and clearly include the principle of dual criminality. Further, we strongly recommend the deletion of the provisions on real-time interception and content traffic data in Articles 29 and 30, and by the same token, the international cooperation on uh, these measures as suggested in Articles 45 and 46. These powers constitute significant privacy infringements and necessary and um, appropriate safeguards, as referred to in more detail in previous interventions, um, are still lacking. And as it seems, they are far from reaching consensus. As a bare minimum, these powers must be balanced with the principles of leg legality, proportionality, and necessity. As concerns the categories of data, there is an urgent need to, be, to clearly and narrowly define them in the Convention. There must not be a blanket data access. If Article 45 and 46 were to remain in the text, we support the suggestion not to include them as obligations, but on a voluntary basis to cooperate only. Mr. Vice Chair, let me point out once again that in order to make these provisions in the future convention work, it is of paramount importance that sufficient safeguards are in place to ensure that human rights of the persons concerned but the far-reaching powers granted in the convention are respected and sufficiently protected. These should contain an explicit reference to the principle of legality, necessity and proportionality, including by explicitly requiring, requiring prior independent judicial authorization before any interference with privacy can occur and based on strong evidentiary showing and clear limitation of the scope and the duration of such power.